battle between Spanish Fort residents and developers of a proposed apartment complex isn't over just yet. The Planning and Zoning Commission recommended tonight the land for the complex be rezoned. Now that means the proposed complex in front of Spanish Fort High School could still be built. Local 15's Jasmine Williams is live from Robertsdale tonight. Jasmine, the Baldwin County Commission will be the ones who finally make the decision on this. They will, Greg, and it could be a difficult decision. These are just a few of the emails the Baldwin County Planning and Zoning Commission received in opposition of the proposed apartment complex in Spanish Fort. Tonight, officials met face-to-face -face with both sides, those living and those developing on the land. The 26 acres at the entrance of Spanish Fort High School could soon be the home of a duplex apartment complex. That is, unless Sean Marie Jernigan has anything to do with it. Spanish Fort is such a small area to have so many rental unit housing. JM Material plans to build about 150 rental duplexes in Spanish Fort near the front of the high school, just feet away from her land. The homeowner was one of many at tonight's planning and zoning meeting in Baldwin County, fighting the proposed changes to the land, saying the increased population will cause congestion. Tom Mitchell, the property owner, disagrees. We have a traffic study on the intersections there, and when the traffic study, study should show that it's not that much of an increase. Officials have received numerous emails and complaints, and it seems the worries and words have sunk in. In the vote, the commission recommended the zoning change, but it doesn't appear to change the views on either side of the roadway. I don't think it did any good for um, for the people to come tonight. Now, tonight's meeting was just a recommendation. The final decision will be made by the Baldwin County Commission. A public hearing is scheduled with them for January 21st. For now, reporting live in Robertsdale, I'm Jasmine Williams, Local 15 News.